These latest murders illustrate why parents in some neighborhoods were nervous about allowing their children to trick or treat. In one such neighborhood, residents who see their share of violence have come up with the plan for a safe Halloween. And they hope that idea will catch on in other communities. <laughs> From the candy to the costumes. And I'm all little old red riding hood. And you are? Army. An army man. We know trick-or-treating is synonymous with Halloween. There you go, sweetie. And on the 4400 block of Athlon near West Florissant in North St. Louis, families were out in full force, and out with them were police on the scene to make sure this street would be a safe zone for trick-or-treaters. Because on this very same block, there have been shootings and assaults. Residents say this neighborhood is no stranger to violence. I hear a lot of... Uh, Probably gun shots and stuff. Yeah, that shouldn't be going on. The idea for a safe zone comes from St. Louis Alderman Antonio French, representing the 21st Ward. It's a safe zone tonight, but 364 days a year, you would not call this a safe zone. Well, it's a struggle other nights, uh, but hopefully what happens on nights like this, when people come out and participate, get to know each other, it will carry on after tonight, and it's part of what we're doing to reclaim these blocks and make them safer year-round. You know, for years, uh, there was a, a very small amount of people coming out, and with the uh, promotion of the, uh, the safe zone, you know, the numbers are just tremendous. This marks a third year of the safe zone, a community building event designed to bring together neighbors and bring about change. You're a dead rock star? What are you? All right. Excellent. Happy Halloween. The glow lights keep you safe.